Good team and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn on PS5. <coughs> right, we've just survived uh, uh, an alien attack. Um, Connor's a legend, man. Th these were the flying insects, and he's managed to bag a lot of them. Uh, a few people got a little bit of injuries, but but nothing major, which is fantastic because I was I was very very worried. We need <sighs> when he runs out of sniper rifle, rifles, we're in real trouble. Anyway, a few things have changed. A few things have changed. Look, look. We got graphene solar panels, and we got a battery, and we got a smelter, and we got a food fabricator, and we got elastic trickery. Um, and I, I've put some more, um, what do you call these things, lightning rods around, because we've had a few thunderstorms come in. And as you know, I'm mortally terrified of people getting struck by lightning, because it does neural damage to them, and they slow down, they become next to useless, as we found out in the last season. However, it turns out that I, I'm hard of thinking, which is not a surprise to you, I'm sure. Um, if you go down to the tabs here at the bottom, all of this stuff is already researched. No, no, no. Motion sensors, automated turrets, towers, gates, all of these things have already been researched. You, you come into the game with these. So I've had solar panels for ages. I just haven't used them. I've got wind turbines, like I'm a donkey. Um, don't. Uh, sometimes I can't help myself. So I'm, I've been making it a little bit hard on myself because I haven't been using electricity sooner. Now, the only thing that we don't have uh, an absolutely raging supply of, to be fair, is, um, is CPU cores and things. So they're up here. So we've got 11 CPUs and, and, uh, and 26 electronics, and we've got fabricator matrix, we've got two. We've built one fabricator, I don't see the need to build another. Um, and, I, and I don't want, I don't want to do too much. I've got enough going here. Th this will get us food if we need it. It just produces food out of thin air, which is fantastic. This I need. Uh, for smelting alloys, so we can make things like batteries. You can see we're doing well. Batteries nearly fully charged. Um, I'm aware it's outside. Look, don't worry about it. We've 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 got over a thousand stone. Um, we can we can build a little storage room for the for the batteries. Um, the the issue that I have had is uh, getting the supply of electricity there. But look, something we can sort out. Don't worry about it. But the reason that I'm not doing too much at the minute with CPU stuff is because we are 69% uh, of the way through flat cannons and these things in particular bother me, these flying things so what I want to do is I want to get at least a couple of flat cannons set up inside here somewhere I think and um, and, and that, will, that will give me a little bit of comfort um, as to our protection and then once I've seen how many CPU cores we have after that we can have a think about what else in the production department we might think we might need or, or power department I mean obviously wind turbines I'm not sure about wind generation here. I might build one just to try and see what it's like. Let's let's do that. Let's connect one to the network. There. And see what we get. Because that, that would be helpful to have some wind security as well as some uh, sun security. So look, is it beautifully laid out? No. Is it pretty? No. Is it working so far? Yeah. So everybody's alive, um, which is fine. In terms of food stuff, so obviously we decided that food was was a problem. I had to harvest these uh, prematurely because we had some uh, insects come through. This was uh, cactuses. I think they got eaten by the by the hungry insects. Um, so we might need to put. I think you can put an automated cannon out here to protect the fields from insects which would not be bad I'd have to kind of figure out how to get it out here but anyway um, we've got the um, grain grass growing which will provide some storage of food that we can use plus we also wouldn't hurt to get more antibiotics 
we're at, we're still 15 you know so, so we're still medically we're okay that's fine i've planted another field of uh grain grass to get that to grow and i realized that these things grow better out in the sand so i've put in three more fields out in the sand so we've been i've been pushing food production because that's a bit of a drama for us but we do have the fabricator if push comes to shove we can just get someone to go and fabricate a meal and then they can eat it that's no drama um jack was diligently hunting stuff but it looks like we're out of food again they just as i said before they just go through food at some phenomenal rate um they really do we are uh currently short of clothing uh yeah, Connor has a damaged t-shirt. She's in need of a t-shirt and, and stuff. So we need to get some clothing sorted. It's making them a bit unhappy. I do have uh, a tailoring bench here and we are working on it. Uh, we are just, you know, one of those things. We are working on it. We are working on it. So how do I feel? Well, I feel we've, I feel we're starting year two well. I feel like I've sorted... I don't think anyone's going to die of starvation because I've got this thing. I mean, we know how not very smart they are, so you do need to keep an eye on them. Um, yeah, nobody's hungry at the minute, so that's all pretty good. See, but you do need to keep an eye on them because they will starve to death in a, in a candy shop. So, just need to be aware of that. The defenses are still holding, uh, and again, because mainly the insect... AI, the alien pathing AI doesn't know what it's doing, so we're surviving those attacks with no no dramas whatsoever. So the main issue for us is production, 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 and building up some stores. Predominantly, we need to focus on uh, stores of food, and I'd like to get some automated defenses to take a little bit of the heat off us, literally. Um, and maybe you see here we got extreme heat wave. Maybe look to get some air conditioning in this building. It's currently 30 degrees indoors, which would be hot, 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 I tell you. Um, <coughs> I think are all those windows open? Yeah, all the windows are open anyway. Um, so we, we probably need some air conditioning. And probably the good news is with it being a small building, we'll probably be able to do it with one air conditioning unit um what does an air conditioning unit cost when it's at home uh we haven't researched those so there's they're on our list of stuff that we would have to do probably need to get some lights in here because they keep complaining about the fact that it is a um that they are cave dwellers so we'll put two lights in there that ought to help them feel like they're not living in a cave in terms of happiness uh he's pretty happy at the minute he's a bit hungry but otherwise he's pretty good he's had some kind of euphoria thing uh she is not happy um doesn't like the dark we can solve that insufficient food variety i can't help you right now a few fun things to do i can't help you right now tired so it'll go away for some reason, he is ravenously hungry. Um, I don't know why. Has he got some kind of character trait? Not really. So I don't know what his problem is. I don't know why he's ravenously hungry. Just go eat something. He does say he's burnt out, so he does need to. He does need. To, he does need to take a little to drowsy. He's just. He's just knackered. Uh, and Raka is gloomy cave dweller ravenously hungry yeah so food need to sort out food for get some stocks of food um would be great i just need ember to concentrate on her research and once she is researched um flat cannons we will be moving on to drones which again this takes so long but they're so helpful four we need to we do definitely need to save four um see oh and it takes four and two Ooh, it's expensive but i tell you it's worth it uh it is very much worth it i think we are we're in desperate need of um 
critter parts. There's going to be critter parts out of this, but they're eating them like there's no tomorrow, so that's part of the problem, is they're eating alien parts. Raw. Black. Which, fine. Whatever. Um, anyway, that's all that. So, food. Food. Research. Defense. Once I feel a little bit stable in terms of the defensive stuff, especially from the flying critters, once I feel um, like we have sorted out the food, which is going to be probably one of my next priorities. Um, in fact, I think what I'll do is I'll go down to activities. And I think we had Raka down for cooking. I think he'll use the fabricator. So I think what we will do is we'll move that to one. I'll move that up to two, that up to two, and uh, that up to two. I'll move Connor to one for handling. He's already doing mining and delivering. Uh, constructing only happens when you need it, and healing only happens when you need it. And mining... <coughs> I think we've probably mined quite enough for now. So we'll move that up. I don't know why everybody's on two for this. He doesn't need to be. He can be up there. Uh, Amber could be up there. Right. Let's tweak around with that. And um, so, yes, a, a year is 48. So I'll be bringing you back every eight days. Okay. Right, I'll see you in eight days. Right, welcome back. It's uh, it's day sixteen. We've just had uh, just had an alien attack. They suddenly want to come around this side. They want to come around this side. I'm gonna to have to expand this wall um, somehow with beautiful fence. <coughs> fence. Put down a stone wall. Um, is that a piece of? It is. It's a piece of uh, what should we call it? Uh, this thing. Stockpile it needs to be deconstructed first, and I'm going to put a wall around here um, because I don't want them coming around here. Frankly, I want them to come down here, and it's annoying that they do that. Very annoying that they do that. Anyway, uh, day 16. Where are we going? Oh, we got the flat cannons built. Yes, I feel so much happier about flat cannons, I tell you. Um, this this is working okay. It's currently working at 26. Is it worth it, though? I mean, these crank out 60. These crank out 60, and that cranks out 26. Um, I mean, I think the, the these take 3 electronics and 20. Whereas these take one electronics. It does take 25. So it's really an electronics match. But when you think about the fact that this is going to consistently produce a three times as much during the day. Eh, I kind of happen to think that going with the graphene solar panel makes a little bit of sense. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother building building these I'll probably stick to building graphene sort of graphene solar panels um, so we have we have 25 electronics 9 CPU cores after we've built these uh, suckers in terms of defense getting a few automated tur turrets would be good they but they they require CPU cores they don't require electronics so we have that we have nine we don't need that many I don't believe we don't need to go that crazy. It's gonna there are gonna be some serious attacks later. Um, I need to think about def defensive layout and things, but um, that's probably probably on the list of things we got to do. But we got to stabilize the power. The power at the minute is. Um, we we need more batteries. I think we need more batteries, and and we need more sensors to be able to stabilize the use of um, things like cannons. So only when we need them. I think these are scheduled to be to be switched off because <coughs> they're drawing a bit of power at the minute. 
what are they drawing at the minute? At the minute, they're, they're drawing 30, so that's 60 right there. So that's one Graffield Stone panel, so they need switched off. Which is fine, um, because she is almost finished researching delivery drones, which will really, really help, because they're so quick at delivering things. They will free up a lot of the handling tasks, which is just eating up everybody's time at the minute. So we're going to do that, and we'll put the delivery drone inside, because it makes a whole heck of a lot of sense to have it inside, so it doesn't get damaged, because we need it. They're expensive to build. I do remember that. They are expensive to build, but they are an absolute godsend, and we definitely do need them, and that will be fantastic, and that will free up a lot of time from people running around and doing things. This uh, this little building that I built down here, uh, I was going to try and connect it to this, but it doesn't work because it's too high. But this little building down here is going to be for batteries and um, various other bits and pieces. Other than that, not a lot to talk about, really. We'll see how we do in another eight days, eh? Right, welcome back. It's day 24. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, we just had uh, another alien attack, which is not a huge surprise, really. Um, we now have the flat cannons, which are on sensors, which are great. And we also have um, a machine gun turret, which is on sensors, which is great. I'd like to build more, but uh, we're pushing the boundaries a little bit. I want to get another battery. So we've finished this room. It's got a roof on it and everything. I've now got a refrigerator, which is great because I've moved um, the raw foods, the cooked foods, and the medicines particularly in there because I don't want the medicines to go off. We seem to be doing okay at the minute. I will need another battery. Uh, that's an absolute must. Five units to build one, though. Oof. We're, we're really hacking our way through them, but we need batteries. <laughs> we need batteries. That's the big base we had had five, I think, in the last series. So we need to move on. We need to get some more batteries. Um, we need to get that done because we're otherwise we're just wasting energy without the batteries. The 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 drone has obviously helped, as you've seen. We've expanded the wall out a little bit to try and protect our storage area. We've moved uh, a lot of the raw and cooked and things. So we've got a lot of odds and sods in here and bits and pieces and whatnot and what have you um, we've got the uh, uh, fuel now running in two barrels we had a lot of antibiotics 22 which I think is ample we don't need to sell it so we're not we were running an awful lot in the last one because we were selling them to make money to be fair but we don't need to sell them so 22 is is quite a lot we probably need more healing balm, but to do that we need more juice leaf, which is what's happening over here. So this lot is growing, and then when we harvest that, we can craft it uh, from here uh, with the uh, healing balm, which is what we need. We don't need the uh, antibiotics, we can move that now. I don't need to worry about that other stuff for now, that's all good. So we're, we're holding our own, we're doing okay. We're still struggling with the food replicator thing, um, but it, it seems to be like it's in production. So I think we're, I think we're working on it. We don't really have any surplus at the minute. Uh, it, it just seems to be not not catch. We're not catching up with it, which is fine. I mean, I think they use it when they need it. Uh, are they complaining of being ravenously hungry anymore? I don't think they are. Uh, oh, he's saying he's a little bit hungry. She's not troubled. He's in moderate pain, and he's gloomy. So, and Connor's probably not hungry because he's been drafted recently to help kill some insects. So, the 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 negatives are drifting away slowly. Um, the They all need lights in the rooms, otherwise they complain about it being too dark. I mean, I don't know, I can't sleep in a light room, but that's just me. The game requires that these people are, um, uh, what you call it, this doesn't need raw food, cooked food, or medicines, thank you very much, in it, so that shelf, we have a dartboard, which helps, we have these statues, which help, they, um, 
They get like plus 18. They come out here and they look at these things. They get plus 18, which keeps them happy. We've got the punching pole, which is a needed repair. Uh, we need some hay. That's not hay. It's some kind of plant. But um, I've got them working on that to try and keep that. So the recreation to keep them happy. Everything else to keep them happy. And we're still trying to get on top of food but we are working our way through uh through the system to try and grab the various other bits and pieces that we need um this is what we need to talk about now this ansible relay this is the end game we need to get 50 electronics we need 10 cpu cores 500 concrete 500 carbon nanotubes that's going to be a pain in the bum and it needs to go outside and it uses up 500 electricity <sighs> um so yeah so we we need we need a 3d printer to make carbon nanotubes we need to research concrete rooms and we need to bake concrete in a furnace so in terms of our research i was just um working on heat pumping because as i said before we get these heat waves so i want to put a heat pump in the main room so we need uh concrete rooms that is what we need to do to be able to that and to bake concrete in a furnace we need to do that and the uh, carbon nano printer is where are you carbon nano fabrication where the heck are you anyway you should be production or something how do I get to you carbon nanotubes or is it already researched Let's have a look. Is this something that we can already build? It would be production. 3D printer. Yeah, the 3D printer will make uh, carbon energy. This is five electronics, two PC, equals ten metal alloys. Uh, the electronics is interesting because we don't seem to be able to research um, making them. I don't see electronics anywhere. Uh, not at all. Maybe it's already in... I think it's advanced research desk. So I think we would have to build the... Sorry, science. Uh, we'd have to research it. So we'd have to research the advanced research desk build the advanced research desk and then be able to work on things like that. I think that's where all of that comes from. So 18 electronics, 5 CPU cores, fabricated memories. Yeah, so that's that's what we need to aim for. That is what we're aiming for. So we're, we're working on power generation. We're working on uh, batteries. We need to start thinking about the end game because I'm pretty sure we can get there relatively succinctly. I don't think this is going to be an 18 year slog, the same as the trading was. Um, I think we should be able to get there a little bit smarter than that. So, yeah, so they're working. They're hard at work and they're working hard, um, but they're a little bit happier and they're a little bit more motivated and, um, and we're doing a little bit better. We've now... Um, now I got this working. Uh, that is just a little bit of a draw because we're going into the night time. So yeah, so we're moving forward. Everybody's happy. Everybody's alive. No one's at risk of dying. Um, we're we're now getting a little bit more juice, so we might be able to start sending people out on uh, what should we call it expeditions? Because this is going to give us another twenty. Uh, that is going to give us um another 20 so yeah so we, we need to start sending people out on expeditions again start seeing if we can salvage some more stuff bring some more stuff back i'm still concerned about the weaponry front because if we run out of really good weapons um i think we will uh we will be in trouble you should have a laser pike for sure i think she's good He's got a pike. He's got a laser. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, insufficient storage space for what? In the fridge? No, it's not the fridge. It must be. What the heck? 
must be something else. What the heck something else would be? I don't know, I shouldn't have dismissed it. Huh. Okay. I don't see anything in there that's gonna prevent this whatever this stuff is happening. You mean uh over here? Construction materials? No? Don't know. It's all a bit weird. Anyway, we're moving on. Moving on. See you in another eight days. Right, welcome back. It's day 32. Uh, we've just had our having an animal attack, but they're um, they're all over here. They're all confused, which is... Where is that? I, I don't even know where that is. Miles away from us. Anyway. Um, so, what are we doing? What are we doing? And how are we doing it? Well, we have um, we've tried to expand a little bit. Uh, we had an animal attack, obviously, just after we built this, and it was in the middle of some solar flares, so it got trashed because it couldn't operate. Wouldn't you know? And um, and we're now out of metal alloys, in part because we have this thing now, which is the uh, carbon nanotube printer, and um, and they grab they this thing grabs alloys for it, so it can print carbon nanotubes so we need more metal so we're going to need an awful lot more scrap and we're going to need an awful lot more alloys and we're going to need an awful lot more carbon nanotubes and we're going to need to bake some concrete to which end i have uh got this thing so i don't know let's do 20 to start with because we're going to need a lot <coughs> I need a lot, so let's get it going. Because I have a lot of sticks. Sticks uh, don't have a problem with. So rather than use electricity for baking concrete, which I don't think is going to be ur an, in an urgent hurry, um, we'll just have that going, and that'll be fine. This stuff uses up electricity, but I think for the alloys, we're going to need it for a variety of things, repairs, and um, and obviously the carbon nanotubes and more power and more defenses and bits and pieces and stuff and such like in thing so um we're not just doing too bad i mean ups and downs with the power because of the weather really and because uh, solar flares and things we've got a whole raft of stuff in here we're collecting a lot of insect meat which is important because we're turning it into fuel which we have 76 of because we also need um for this recipe here, this recipe here, carbon nanotubes, liquid fuel, need 10 and 10 metal alloys to make 10 carbon nanotubes. It's expensive stuff. I've never done it before because it's so expensive, but I don't really have a choice now, so I've got to do something about it. So we've um, we've got them fermenting fuel down here um, as quick as we can in two barrels. We're still pretty good with the antibiotics, so I don't need to worry about that for now. Uh, healing balm might need to get on top of a little bit. Um, and we brought in some, you know, juice leaf, juice leaf, uh, yes, healing bam. So we need, we could probably do with some more of that. Uh, but we've just, we've just brought some in. We brought in some, um, what's it called? Grain crops. So that's why these are empty, and we're working through the barrel cactus stuff. The trees are getting there. 61% and then eventually we'll have some wood which will be great for something um, this is just bushes for more sticks there's going to be plenty of bushes for sticks this isn't going to be a problem and I steered you wrong because I said to you we need the advanced research desk for electronics and things which you obviously don't you need this thing which is the soldering bench which we now have and um, it should actually be off because otherwise it's using juice because this is where we do electronics and CPU cores which we're going to need a lot of but we need some silicon to do it well we haven't even observed silicon yet um, ember is off uh, was off ah she's off over here to observe this grass because we need that for hay so that we can repair this thing amongst other stuff and over here is the nearest silicon plant, uh, which I'm going to have to send her to do 
after that because she's the smartest person to do that and once we've observed silicon plant we can then start putting silicon fields in place over here perhaps and start growing and harvesting silicon so that we can get somebody crafting an awful lot of cpu cores and electronics because as we noticed our goal to get the ansible relay 50 electronics blimey that's a lot 10 cpu cores yeah okay 500 concrete i think that's going to be easy 500 carbon nanotubes is going to be hard we've got 10. <laughs> so um i did say i thought i'd be out of here before year 18. Yay! don't think so it's it's going to be a push it's going to be a push it's going to be a push we need to get we need to get silicon we need to get lots and lots of silicon um and we're going to need metal lots and lots of scrap metal and the problem is that there's not actually lots and lots of scrap metal lying around um, there's a few salvageable places and there's ores that i need to go and investigate <clears throat> um that might come in useful there's lots of i think they're just old stones so there's some ore i think is that ore no ore is the knobbly one uh no that's a rock chunk so <coughs> that's that's the ore that's that's the interesting rock that's gonna make uh metal <clears throat> hmm. So, uh, look, there's those glowing things again. Um, Curtis was saying, "Oh, was it remnant flares?" But it's not. It's just something just glows at night out here. It's very strange. Anyway, um, so that's our uphill battle. I think, honestly, I mean, people are not happy because they're never freaking happy. Um, but you know, he's always got cirrhosis because he's a drunkard. Um, his lungs are fine whole body tactical commander that's his condition um uh, infection moderate oh uh, really he needs someone should get him some antibiotics perhaps um can't you treat yourself we have antibiotics heal self oh rack is already onto it so so that's the situation. The situation is we have some defenses, we have some things on go, but we're staring down the very real and problematic possibility of trying to harvest lots and lots of metal because we need all the metal we need for us to stay alive, but we also need um, the equivalent of if we need and I'm no math whiz, and you know this, but if we need 500 carbon nanotubes and metal alloys are uh, 10 for every 10 carbon nanotubes, we need 5, we need 50 times 10, so we need 500 metal alloys to get 500 nanotubes that seems to be the deal it's a one for one um transition yes am i am i right is it, can someone tell me if i'm right we spent 10 we got 10 we spend 500 we get 500 that seems to be the deal so we need 500 fuel and 500 nanotubes uh, and 500 metal <laughs> oh i don't know man it's gonna be a slog and in, in amongst all that, we've got to try and stay alive with our defenses. But we just jammed out lucky with the animal attacks. And I'm not going to lie about that. But I, look, I didn't decide this map. This map was chosen at random. You saw it. I saw it. Everybody saw it. So if you had a different map, you'd be facing a different proposition. Because you'd be facing a lot more animal attacks. Um, and they get pretty dicey. Um, we've got the flat cannons are probably the most important thing. We've got two of these things when they're actually working, but it'll never be enough. Uh, nor will this. You'd ha we'll have to expand. We would have to expand all of this out to make a much more um, dangerous field of fire, um, including lasers and various bits and pieces. So 
I'm not really looking forward to it. It's going to be a grind, and we're going to grind on. But that's the situation. So we're we're into the thick of seeing the uh, seeing the grind far ahead of us, and that's where we're headed. See you in another eight days. Right, welcome back. It's day forty. So um, things are kind of moving on a little bit. Uh, we've accumulated a few bits and pieces. We are accumulating our way through the concrete. I had to make a new place for concrete because we were running out of storage space. We've got the 3D printer on and functioning. We've got some alloys and we have some uh, fuel. Um, so we'll be working on the carbon nanotubes, which is great, and we'll work on those. Um, I had to put in another battery because we have so much juice being generated, which is fantastic. We do like juice being generated, which is marvelous. <coughs> As you can see, we have a, a raft of silicon fields now planted in some tea balls because I noticed some people are complaining that, um, thank you, that they were in pain. Uh, in particular, uh, Connor is in pain, and I think uh, Jack, Jack is in moderate pain, and I think that's it. And I think tea, you can make like a pain relief, I'm hoping you can make a pain relieving tea out of this stuff, so we're going to give it a try. Um, so that's the situation there, so we've got the silicon on the go, we've got an extra battery, we have um, an abundance of grain which is awesome, and insect meat, which is okay, I guess, for making fuel, and we've got our our medications, because we've got now 12 bandages, we've got some more healing balm, we've got some antibiotics, but we need pain relief, I do believe. Food is handled by the food machine, so people just get it, actually, and then there's like one at a time, and then they eat it, and it's not a problem. So on the basis of that, I've decided I probably need to cut down on the fields. So there'll be no more planting of these. Once these are harvested, these are going to go. I'm not going to plant these things anymore. I don't think I need them. We've got three down here. So once these are harvested, these are going to go. Uh, I also have these cactuses, but I realized that they're everywhere. Uh, not these, but uh, these. So uh, they can go. Juice leaf we're going to hang on to. We're going to hang on to three corn just in case we need more antibiotic production. And I've got, a, I've got some grass, which is fine. I mean, we needed it for some stuff, but I don't, I don't think we're going to need it much more. And we don't need bushes because there's bushes everywhere. And we've got a whole raft of rocks down here. So farming-wise, we're going to trim back on the farming so we can concentrate more on managing these crops here. Um, and the trees take ages to grow, but I, I think we need some wood for wooden power poles. We've been using metal for metal power poles, but I think we need wood for wooden power poles. And in terms of defenses, we've had a, we had an aerial attack not too long ago, and the flat cannons seem to work okay, but we could definitely do with another one for sure. I've had to expand the wall out a little bit further because the bugs tend to get a little bit close, and um, and I could do with that extra line of defense. Hence the extra traps and various other bits and pieces. So I'm still thinking about expanding our defense network in and amongst doing all of the other stuff that I do have to do. We've scavenged some more electronics, not some more CPU cores, which is fine. We still don't have the capacity to make anything because we still actually... Yep, now we've got ore. It's good. Thanks, Ember. Um, we har haven't harvested any silicon and um, my experience is this plant takes an age to grow. Um, but once you harvest it, like you have a lot of it. So we need to get this crop in, then we need to get another crop planted, then we need to start production on CPU cores, and it will probably end up just getting Ember. Oh no, she's not great at crafting. We'll have to get Ember's crafting skill up somehow. We'll need to get her to craft something. Now that's research. Get her to craft something very, very basic. Um, until she can go, because she can't even do this. She needs crafting one. I think, what's her crafting? Is it nil? Let's have a look. Activities. Ember. What's your crafting? It's long here. Crafting is nil. Oh. 
even Connor's better. She's indifferent at it. Jack's interested in it, but he does a lot of things. Rack is interested in it, but he's doing farming. Okay, never mind. We'll not get Amber to do it. <laughs> uh, we might get Amber to do something else. I might have to look at that, but um, don't need to work, look at that now. Connor, where are you and what are you doing? Barfing up. Uh, people are off scavenging. They got miles to go to scavenge stuff, that's why. Um, yeah, and a few more. We gotta use. We do have to, unfortunately, use a little bit more salvage to make some more traps, because we need to be able to hold the insects at bay. So they tend to come either down this, down this chute here, and over, or sorry, down here, and over, or they tend to come from over here, or or kind of over here. So we 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 still need to try and lure them down this area here, um, and we've obviously got the the uh, we're rocking only two automated turrets. But my plan was to try and move a third in somewhere. I don't know. I might be able to put it in here. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Anyway, rambling on, rambling on. So we're moving on, we're moving forward, we're taking along, we're into the grind. It's day 42. I will see you for the end of the year. Right, well, it's uh, it's New Year's Eve, so it's the end of another year. And, um, blimey. Uh, I mean, oh, I, d I definitely think we, we, we must have learned a lot, because we're definitely, well... You say we've learned a lot, but also, to be fair, once I figured out what we were doing in terms of... Now it gets windy. What we're doing in terms of the fact that we already had an awful lot of this stuff researched, we could save a lot of time. So with so much stuff researched, we've already kind of cracked into it. And I'm quite surprised, actually, because we've got 200 concrete already. Um, we've got 140 nanotubes already, and we can't do anything about electronics. We've, we've salvaged some. And scavenge some <clears throat> and that's fine we've had to build um, more batteries the um, I've had to although I probably don't need to now I can um, take raw food out of that I added raw food in um, because this was looking particularly full I think we've got space now and that's all good we've got plenty of juice uh, elastic trickery, which is kind of good, because I'm thinking about chucking another one of these uh, automated turrets in um, somewhere along here. Uh, d doesn't does it like that? Kind of does like that. Kind of doesn't like that. Um, but it's it's 50. I'll have a, I'll have a think about that. We're doing okay so far. I had to put in this additional wall at the back because it seems like the insects were coming down the side and in the back because this is only one wall thick. So we've got all these like double wall things with double gates and stuff, which is adding extra layers of security. To, again, you need to try and force them down this pipe. So they were getting close to this wall because of this object here. So I've had to add in some stuff. I'm pretty sure they're going to start crowding in here too. I'm going to have to remove this field or something. I don't know. But I put this here to with this to hopefully try and protect these from uh, pesky critters. So I, I don't know. We'll see how the defenses go. We, we we know we can make it work and we know we can make it work. So let's not, let's not worry about it too much. Full, full, full and full. Love the sound of that. Um, the flat cannons are working okay against the flying bugs. That's fine and and we're cracking into it we've got what well, this is up to 63 percent now nothing i can do till this comes through so it's just it's just a waiting game and and a salvage game sadly like i said i'm not worried about the stone i think the stone will be a piece of cake the issue is going to be the the metals we've got some salvaging going on over here uh, with with Jack working on that, and there's a bit of salvaging going on over here. There's a bit of salvaging was going on. Uh, it was going on over here, but it's done. That is now done. So where's Ember going? She's got a long walk. Is she? Oh, is she heading out to this. Is, this is the next one. Ooh, yeah. If she's going out there and this one. So there's. Yeah, she's working on this one. So there's a long walk. 
they got a lot of long walking to do to get anywhere near sal salvaging and scavenging and we haven't had oh what's this an ore deposit i didn't realize this was here this must have came down in one of the recent um, media strikes so we'll get that in there because now that we know that there's another ore deposit which is right up here um, which is something else that we can get into so we're working on it we're working on it we're working on it as long as the bugs keep coming we're doing okay with the juice uh, which is over here we're up to 85 and we've been out on a lot of expeditions oh a lot of expeditions we've been out on expeditions salvaging various other bits and pieces and so on and so forth uh, the food, like I said, is not a problem now that we have the replicator, because if there is no food, then they just dial one up, which is great. So I'm not worried about that anymore, which is great. So, end of another year, and I think we've done pretty well. I think we're keyed up. I think we're ready to leap into year three, and we need, really need to truck on with the silicon. And we really need to truck on with the CPUs and we really need to be conscious of our defenses and not let that uh, fall behind because we know that we're going to get more and more bugs and the more and more bugs that we get, the harder and harder it's going to be. But I think we're, we're in a great, I hate to say it, we're in a great position heading into year three. Um, 150 nanotubes already. We are, uh, what is that, third, quite, let's say 30%, so we're 30% of the way with nanotubes, 200 in concrete, so we're nearly halfway there with the concrete, so it's all going to come down to the CPU cores and the electronics, and we're just going to have to get Raka crafting away like crazy. There you go, I hope you like it. Uh, do click the like button. Uh, do subscribe to the channel. Do feel free to drop any of your thoughts, uh, comments, or tips, or tricks, or clarifications, or ask any questions. And I will see you all again real, real soon for uh, year three. Shall we, shall we zip ahead to the celebration? Let's do that, because I normally let you guys go out on the celebration. So we'll zip ahead to that. <laughs>